Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenscarcollection.com and today we're reviewing one of my favorite cars, a Porsche 718S model. So let's take a look at this. Uh, hope you can hear me, it's a windy day and we got a lot of road noise here, motorcycles and trucks going by, but as you know, I love the Porsche brand. I owned a Cayman S, a 987.1 2008 white six-speed manual s version this is the 718 so this is a 2017 model when they went to the four-cylinder flat four this car has some really cool options besides sport chrono we have the optional 20-inch wheels that look awesome i did a 981 which was the naturally aspirated engine a couple years ago two years ago i think it was a 2014 or 2015 same color black but look at this car though it's got a beautiful red interior and it just looks fantastic this interior so this is definitely an upgraded interior we got the sport chrono we got the pdk i've never driven a pdk cayman ever in any model i've only driven manual so i'm excited to see how this is unlike the 911 you do have two trunks here which we'll go over but unlike the 911 you can't see any of the engines so the 911 you really only see the fans but in this car you see nothing the only way to access the engine is underneath this three-quarter view is the my favorite view of the cayman or right here with the big side arches from the wheels i think is the best view we have a sport exhaust factory sport exhaust and now you have two buttons here to access the trunk so we'll look at the front trunk and the uh the rear trunk now i play ice hockey and i could fit my equipment in this car uh, what i would do is i would put the big hockey bag in the front here we go and the spoiler goes up at speed i would put and i would put my skates i have size 13 feet so if you know ice skates they run a little smaller my size 11 skates and my helmet in here which fit perfectly uh, you still have nets, so you can fit a lot of cargo. These are the floor mats, another net up there, some side storage pockets, and then uh, we'll close that. And then you have the front trunk, which is actually real deep. So on rear wheel drive Porsches like this, the front trunk is very, very uh, deep. The all wheel drive 911s, it's a lot smaller because you got some of the architecture here. But this is a huge trunk. You have floor mats. These are really good. These are WeatherTech mats. I have these in all my cars. And see how deep it is? You could easily fit your hockey back here. Minus, you probably fit your helmet too, but I don't like crushing my helmet. And, uh, you really, uh, this, my skates are so big. They, they skates you can't mush down like the other pads. So beautiful car, can't wait to drive it. Really, really excited. We got some really cool options inside here, which we'll take a look at. Sorry for the wind noise. So remember with the Porsches, the key is on the left. And we have the same steering wheel I have in my 911. So my 911 is also 2017, the same on both. This actually has more controls. I don't know if I have the phone. I should know, I've had my car every year. So when you have Sport Chrono, which my car doesn't have, to me, Sport Chrono right here with the stopwatch is mandatory on the PDK cars because that's the only way you get launch control. On my car, the with a manual transmission 911 or you know Cayman S Boxer, the, basically the uh, Sport Chrono gives you a little, uh, peppier throttle and it gives you rev matching i like a manual i don't need to rev match so my car doesn't have it but you definitely want the launch control on the pdk cars and then you get this real cool button where you can just go into uh individual sports sport plus so uh everything's right at your fingertip tips and unlike audi porsche has really good paddles so these have really good feel to it your pdk is self-explanatory and this has a great option besides sport chrono it has a sport exhaust and it also has heated and cooled seats Heat, cooled seats are so good man my m340 ix drive i really miss not having the cooled seats i have in my 911 which work great and in my previous Audi S8 so we'll take it for a spin we'll see how she handles uh, spoiler alert these mid-engine cars handle better than the rear drive 911s and are easier for most people if you don't have if you're not used to uh, you know using the rear engine placement it's much easier I believe for newbies to drive the mid-engine variant so let's start her up and we'll go for a drive All right, let's start it up. Keying left, start it up. All right, sounds good, sounds good. They just got this car in, so it'll be fully serviced before it's sold to you. Check out, special thanks to Audi of Hawthorne. 
and check this car out in their inventory. It's here right now. If you want to uh, take it home today, you can. It's a really hot day, so I'm gonna, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to put the air conditioning on. I'll try to make it as low as possible. All right, so let's, uh, let's pull away here. We're gonna go in, this car has 35,000 miles on it, so we can certainly pull away in Sport Plus. I'm gonna put it in manual mode so I have to shift. And uh, let me just adjust the steering wheel a little bit, a little higher, there we go. And uh, adjust them, always make sure your mirrors are adjusted. All right, let's do this. <laughs> this car feels pretty quick. All right, well, this car feels pretty quick. I can't make a left turn, it's telling me. All right, fine. So I'm gonna go turn around. See how the acceleration is now. We have a four-cylinder turbocharged flat four engine. Now this is the S, this isn't the base. The base gives us about 300 horsepower. We have 350 horsepower from a 2.5 liter. The base car will only give us a uh, two liter four cylinder engine. While this, we bump up the displacement to two and a half. Well, let's go up the turns here. To two and a half and we get uh, an extra 50 horsepower. 309 foot pounds of torque. Now this is when the Cayman finally gets fast. So my 987.1 uh, came in uh, was slow. The 981s, the last of the naturally aspirated, also slow. This is the first time it came in with this launch control here, you can get about a 3.9 second zero to 60 time, which is amazing if you think about it. All right, so we're gonna do a little acceleration here. We are in manual mode, we are in Sport Plus, and let's see how she does. Wow, this is pretty fast. It does feel as fast as my 911, which is similar, about four seconds, zero to 60. You could really feel the power of those, uh, of those turbos. Now you say, well, I don't want a four-cylinder Porsche. Well, you know what? This 718 is named after the Porsche ra race cars in the past that, guess what, had four-cylinder engines. So the four-cylinder came first, and then they bumped it up to the six-cylinder. Now, I'm sure there are aftermarket solutions for the sound. It is a deep guttural sound, so it's really not as bad as you think. It doesn't have that uh, flat six whale, but this car is a lot faster. So are you a sound person or a performance person? I'm telling you, the performance is, uh, is getting to me here. I really, really like it. Oh, there's an old 911, look at that. A Targa. All right, I just gotta find my way back. <laughs> so there is so there is some road noise. I have the same road noise on my 911. There's less sound deadening here than you would get on a lot of other cars. The ride is pretty good. I mean, it's sports car stiff. It's not a luxury car by any means. But the handling on this is out of this world. So, you know, they give the Caymans and the Boxsters longer gearing so it won't out accelerate the 911. But if it did, you would buy that over the 911 because it's mid-engine and handles better and you don't have that learning curve that you have on the rear engine cars. Now here in New York, the roads are so bumpy, so I don't care what car you're driving. I could be driving my Jeep Grand Cherokee or the Audi S8 and we'd be bouncing all over the place here. So don't look at that as the car. Stereo systems are really good in this car. Some great options it has here is the automatic climate control, the sport exhaust, the sport chrono, and again, this car is available if you wanted to buy it uh, today. Now, I'm not sure what road I should go on, so I'm gonna stay on this road here. <laughs> but really good acceleration. Now, what I like about these cars is the lightweight. I thought my 911 was lightweight at 3,150 pounds. This is even lighter. It's about 2,988, give or take. A little lighter with the manual, a little heavier. I think 50 pounds heavier with the manual. Uh, with the PDK transmission. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you could sense the speed on this car, but this is a really, really fast automobile. Oh my God. 
and so nimble. It just changes direction. I used to autocross the heck out of my Cayman S and uh, I could be really, really competitive with a set of sticky tires and I'm sure the same would be true here. You never have enough Porsches, so don't worry about getting 911s. If you want a convertible, get a Boxster. If you want a fun coupe, get a Cayman S in whatever your uh, best, uh, whatever your favorite transmission is. They, these cars are that good, I assure you. <laughs> and the brakes are huge. You got the look too with the 20-inch wheels. This is just a phenomenal, phenomenal car to drive. If I didn't have my car ready, I would buy this car. The PDK is that good. It's a great looking car in this uh, black sapphire color. And you cannot go wrong uh, with this car. You, and what's good about Porsches is they're dead reliable and they're all day comfortable. Very few cars are as comfortable as these Porsches are. All right, so now we're gonna drive in normal mode or comfort mode. Uh, we're gonna let the PDK shift for itself to see how it does. All right, enough of that. We gotta go back into manual mode, I can't take it. All right, so now that was in Sport Plus. Yeah, let's go Sport Plus. So we just do the dial real easy. We have the, uh, it puts our Sport exhaust on and then we're gonna accelerate right now. All right, now this is a fast, Automobile. And you got great brakes with a Porsche, great brakes. And Porsche is probably the only car that you could drive to the track, be competitive at the track and drive home. When I had Corvettes or M3s, the brakes always faded at the track, the Corvettes always overheated, whether it was the oil, the water temperature, and Porsche really, these even these steel brakes, you don't need ceramics, will last you all day. All right, so let's put the car now in auto mode and we'll let the PDK shift for itself. As you know, I'm in love with the 992 Turbo and that PDK, so let's see how good the PDK was back in 2017. Uh, guess what, it's good, it's still telepathic. So it's putting me in fifth gear now. Now let's see what happens if I wanna accelerate. Let's get in the left lane first. Uh-oh. Uh, and of course the van will go in front of me. I want to see if it downshifts because the PDK will even drop a couple gears. All right, let's see how it does. Yep. So it instantly, it instantly went from fifth to third in the blink of an eye. Wow. Guys, PDK is good. It's convincing me. It is. Now, see, the PDK is still set for me in fourth gear. If I accelerate, see, it just dropped. Now, before it was in fifth gear, and now it's holding the gear, thinking I might want to accelerate again. So that's how good this PDK is. Wow, that's uh, it's convincing me for sure. Sadly, we have to go to the dealership. Somebody buy this car before I do. Oh my God, was this car good. You don't need a 911, guys. Seriously, get a Cayman S or if you want a convertible, Boxster S. And uh, unless you really need the back seat, you do not need a 911. This amazing car. It's for sale right now. Check it out. They always have cool sports cars in every new and used Audi. They have a lot of RS6s. Uh, they sell within hours of getting here. So I'll get in contact with them if you want to get your name on the list for an RS6. All right, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.